Hello. Here's a little bit more from Swami Rama on perfecting the personality. Thus, down deep within you is a basement in which you have stored all the seeds of your samskaras. The bubbles are impressions that disturb your behavior and your normal thinking process are still present there. Even if your wife, children, and friends tell you not to worry, you cannot stop it. No one wants you to worry, but you do it because of your learned habit patterns. You can gain freedom from such a thinking process, which distorts and gives an entirely different sort of direction to your life by understanding how to train yourself and then going in a different direction. However, you must really want to do this. That inner method of self-change is not taught in the external world. This internal method you will have to discover for yourself by understanding a method called journeying within. Journeying within tells you how to go inside. Sometimes you think that nothing could be more powerful than what you consider positive in the external world. And yet even the object of your love has less power than your object of negativity. It is amazing to see how negativity controls your mind. You love those objects of negativity even more than the objects of love and positivity. That is why you think of them again and again. Something negative controls your life, and so the negative side of your life becomes more powerful than the positive side. You did not work with your own negative thought process, and now you are unhappy. However, you can gain conscious control over yourself by making an effort, using your human effort. A human being has the power to make an effort. He can change his personality and utilize the immense wealth, power, and brilliance buried within himself. Once you learn to go to the inner chamber of your being, you can do that. If you learn first how to decide to change and then how to determine within that you will not repeat something negative, you can change yourself. Perhaps you have a very bad temper. You get angry, and your anger is not controlled anger. You have not learned to discipline yourself, and this is very injurious to you. You have first to analyze that anger. Why do you get so angry with someone that your speech is distorted? and you act very differently. At that time, you feel different. You forget yourself, your duties, and your relationships, and you lose your temper and say things that are damaging and injurious. If you analyze this process, you will find that in the samskaras that you have deposited in the unconscious mind, there are many desires that have not been fulfilled. Perhaps you want to re be respected by someone. If this desire exists in you, it will hurt you so much that it will not allow you to be at peace. You may think, my partner doesn't respect me. Then you waste your time and energy in such an expectation with the hope that others will respect you and love you. In this way, you become totally dependent on others to fulfill your expectations. You do nothing for yourself but expect things from others, which is not a good thing to experience. But others have no capacity to fulfill your expectations. These are your expectations. The mother of all problems and conflicts lies within you, and that is expecting things from others.
Okay, we will continue later with more from Swami Rama on perfecting the personality. Thank you for visiting. Please have a wonderful, nice, pleasant, quiet next meditation. Okay? Bye-bye.